Blubs shakes. Simple, clean, and they'll make your edits hit way harder. Let's break it down. Start with your clip, add four nulls. Short comfort is Control Shift Alt Y. Parent your clip to the first null, then chain them together all the way up. Now on null one, open scale, keyframe it zoomed in at the start, then reset it back to 100 later in the clip. Easy ease those keyframes so it flows. On null two, set a scale keyframe at 100 between null one's two keyframes. Move further down the timeline and scale null two up to the amount you want the secondary zoom to reach. On null three, place a scale keyframe at 100 a little after Null 2's last keyframe. Then go to the end of the clip and add another scale keyframe and scale it down. Parent the clip you're zooming into to the clip you're starting from. This ties the incoming shot to the motion of the outgoing shot so the zoom feels connected and smooth. On the actual clip, not the nulls, keyframe opacity at 0% around the start where the clip begins, then later set it to 100%. Then unlink scale so you can animate the X and Y separately. Set a keyframe in the beginning of the clip, then move to the middle and keyframe scale X to stretch slightly mid clip during the zoom in. Then return it to default at the end. This horizontal stretch recreates a bounce smash feel when combined with the null scales. On the first null, apply the graph you see me apply. Same for the second null. And then on the second null, change the speed graph to what you see me doing. On Null 4, set a scale keyframe at 100% between Null 2's keyframes. Then another keyframe at the end and scale it up for whatever your clip needs. Now for the finishing touches, I'm adding CC jaws with turbulent displays to give the black bars a subtle wave so they feel like they're breathing with the music. Then a halftone texture masked into a circle so as the zoom hits, the dots expand and as it pulls back, they collapse. Add a touch of deep glow, really faint, just enough to make the highlight feel alive. And finally, optics compensation with reverse lens distortion. It's a small push and pull, but it really sells the depth of motion. None of these are the star of the effect, but together they make this shake feel cinematic instead of just chaotic. And that's how you build blub style shakes in After Effects. Clean, bouncy, and packed with impact. If this helped, drop a like, hit subscribe, and I'll keep breaking down more effects just like this. Yeah,